this is Steve from Retro Man Blog, and welcome to episode 49 of Retro Sonic Podcast. Well, it's another decidedly non retro show, as I've got 21 superb new garage rock, punk, psych, power pop, and indie releases for your enjoyment from as far apart as the UK, Italy, Canada, Japan, the USA, Sweden, and the Medway Delta. And talking of which, here's Graham Day, and this is a rose thorn sticking in your mind's eye. and a rose thorn sticking in your mind's eye, and that's taken from the album The Master of None. Well, the songs were initially written with the new Jailers album in mind, but due to the pandemic and the fact that drummer Dan Electro is based in the States, Graham decided to release the songs as actually his first debut solo record. And he'd never guessed that he recorded all the parts by himself, mostly at home, but as you can tell from that track, it still sounds as raw and powerful as if the Jailers were in the room. And we saw Graham with a senior service last Saturday down in Brighton, and he's been busy recently, what with playing guitar with his favourite band The Woggles in the States, and then there was the announcement of the Prisoners reunion shows in December, and also the great news that finally a new Jailers album will see the light of day very soon.
Well, that was Mimi and the Miseries and Security, and that's taken from their debut EP, Moving Out. Well, we saw the band for the first time down in Bristol at Louisiana as part of the Harbour Festival, and they were really excellent. And actually, I've been down to Bristol twice to see gigs over the past couple of months, and I really love it there. You know, what a great music city. So that song goes out for all the gang at the Elmer's Arms, Elmer, Craig, Alex, Ananda, Glauco and Joss, and I hope to get back to Bristol really soon. Well, you might have read my glowing review recently on the brand new album from The Moot called Mood Swings and Roundabouts, which totally blew me away. I mean, it would definitely be up there among the best albums of the year. So here's one of my favourite tracks. This is The Moot and Tonic for the Soul. track by The Moot, that was called Tonic for the Soul, and that's taken from their third album, Mood Swings and Roundabout, which is an absolute classic, you know, it's perfect from start to finish. And I recommend you checking out my feature on the record up at retromanblog.com.
Well, you just heard the Sublime Monday Morning, and that's taken from the excellent new Paper Lips album called The Sound of Sound. And that's actually a solo project by Mike Whitaker of the Jack Cades and the Baron Four, and also features Elsa from the Jack Cades on backing vocals. Well, it's a really great album, and if you like the Brian Jonestown Massacre and the Velvet Underground, then I'm sure you're going to love the Sound of Sound album. And next up, I'm honoured to be able to play for you an unreleased track from one of my favourite bands, that's Les Envahisseurs from Montreal in Canada, and this is Back to 66. Bloody marvellous, wasn't it? That was Back to 66, a new and as yet unreleased song from Les Envahisseurs from Montreal in Canada. And the band will be touring Spain in September, and they're coming back to Europe later on in November, and I sincerely hope they'll make it over to the UK as well. Well, next up we've got two brand new releases from our good friends at the Spin Out Nuggets label, who seem to have been busier than ever. Well, we'll hear the new single from The Strawberry Mind, but first of all, here's a track from Breaking Out, the debut album by The SKPs, and this is Lose Your Head. Go! 
Well, that was The Strawberry Mind and Try As I Might, and that's taken from their new double A-sided 7-inch single, which is out now on Spin Out Nuggets. While the record features the lineup of Paul Garner on vocals and guitar, Mark Barrett on bass, Stu Cook on drums, and Rod Spark on the Hammond organ. And then before that, we heard The Escapees and Lose Your Head from their debut album, Breaking Out. Well, The Escapees feature some names that might well be familiar to Retrosonic podcast listeners. That vocalist and guitarist Alan Walsh was in the SD5, and Dave Prince has drummed with bands such as the Voodooms and the Lancashire Bombers. Well, the album was recorded at Branscombe Studios down in Rochester, and Jim Riley adds some of his trademark harmonica. Well, both those records are available from Spin Out Nuggets, among many other recently releases from this fast-growing label. 
In fact, I could have done one whole episode dedicated entirely to spin-out nuggets, as they've been so prolific recently. Well, actually, come to think of it, it might be a good idea. That might be something to do in the future. Anyway, those two tracks go out with thanks to Lee and Dave Grimshaw. Well, it's almost impossible to do a new release special without including something from Damaged Goods, and this episode is no exception. So here's a cracking new single from Cyanide Pills, and this is a brilliantly titled The Kids Can't Be Trusted With Rock and Roll. That was something special, wasn't it? That was uh, cyanide pills and the kids can't be trusted with rock and roll, uh, which is a good point. You know, I'd probably better to leave it to us old kids, please. And anyway, here's another blast of tuneful punk rock. This is Los Pepes and Never Get It Right.
Well, that was Los Pepes and Never Get It Right, and that's taken from the Happiness Program, and that album's out now on the Swedish label Beluga, in conjunction with Wonder Records and Adrenaline Fix. Well, they're an excellent live band, and I think the new album really captures their live energy perfectly. Well, there's just so many great labels and so much excellent new music out there, so where do we go next? Well, how about over to another one of our favourite labels, Chaputa, and we'll hear a sonic blast of a song from the sound station. But first of all, let's get the garage house party starting with the Selwoods and Searching.
that was a gloriously raw rock and soul of the sound station, and that was Wild One, and that's from their superb new four song EP, which is out now on Chaputa Records. Well, the band are lined up to play at the fantastic Dracula Carnival in Benidorm at the end of October, along with Billy Childish and CTMF, Daddy Longlegs and the Loons. And then hopefully the band will also make it over to the UK, and that'll be amazing, as they're such a great band, and I'd love to see them play live. And then before that, you heard the Selwoods with their take on the Omen's 1960s garage rock nugget Searching, and that's taken from their debut album, House Rockin' Party Tonight. Now, it's a great fun pack listen, which is also available now from Chaputa. Well, I mentioned there that Billy Childish will be playing at Fantastic, and if you're a Billy fan, then don't forget to check out our last Retro Sonic podcast, episode 48, as we have an exclusive brand new and unreleased song by the head coach Sec. Yeah, that's the 90s band that Billy Childish and Bruce Brand formed, along with Don Crane and Keith Grant of Downline Sect. Well, the track has kindly been submitted to us by uh, Damage Goods Records to help us promote the tribute show to Don Crane, who sadly passed away earlier this year. Well, the gig will be an afternoon event on Sunday, August the 21st, at our favourite venue, the Half Moon in Putney, and the surviving members of Downline Sect will be performing, along with very special guests, the Fallen Leaves and the Masonics. There'll also be a very special auction, and all proceeds will go to Macmillan Cancer Support. Anyway, it promises to be a mighty fine afternoon, so please come along, support the good cause, and enjoy some excellent music. Oh, that was a great new single by The Coolies and their cover version of a Go-Go's rarity called King of Confusion. Well, The Coolies were formed by Palmyra Delran, Melanie Vamin, and her bandmate in the Muffs and the Pandoras, Kim Shattuck, who sadly passed away in 2019. Well, I got in touch with Melanie to ask for some more information on the single and she kindly got back to me to explain that the song was recorded in 2021 and she's playing guitar, Palmyra is on vocals and guitar and there are some very special guests. 
And the single features Kathy Valentine from the Go-Go's on the bass and Clem Burke from Blondie on the drums. Well, there's also a little secret tribute to Kim in there, as a backward vocals you can hear is actually Kim speaking. And if you spin the vinyl record over, the B-side plays backwards, so you can discover what she's saying. Well, it's a great record, and that's a nice touch. I was a big fan of the Muffs, and it was really sad when I heard the news about Kim. But anyway, please check out the Coolies, and also Melanie's other projects, and not forgetting Palmyra's radio shows at the Underground Garage. <laughs> Sheffield's long-standing garage rockers The Morning After and their excellent new single She Left Me Today which is out on Rogue Records. Well, has a great sound on that you know it positively bursts out of the speakers. And then next up we've got a sublime piece of lo-fi magic from Kurt Shirt and this is Imaginary Friend. I feel you like a phantom A voice resounding in the void A love to deep to fathom Don't 
But that was Imaginary Friend from the latest album VG by the Tokyo-based singer-songwriter Kurt Shirt. And that's for Kurt, Kaz, Hiro and Rie out in Japan. Shoot me now, or shoot me later. I don't care, just make sure that I'm dead. Shoot me now, do me a favour. When you shoot me, please aim for my head. The Daily Mail said it's alright, but I think it's the dumb lead in the blind. We've been in the dark so long, we're a nation, nation of Dirt Royal from Brighton with their new single Shoot Me Now and I went along to see them do an excellent in-store show to promote the release at my favourite local record store Sound of the Suburbs in Ryslip. Now it's hard to believe I first saw the band back in 2013 at the much missed 12 Bar Club and talking of which former 12 Bar owner Barnet Mark is publishing a superb looking new book Those 12 Bar Nights which is a collection of tales, memories and photos by lots of 12 Bar performers, staff and customers including some of my own. So please keep an eye on retromanblog.com as I'll be doing a feature on the book very soon.
Well, that was KS and the Mystery Jet Set with Downtime, and that's taken from their new album, Play Something We Like, which features songs by Khalid Siddiqui, aka DJ Evil Elvis, a member of London's premier dance troupe, The Action Men, and former Revillo's drummer, Nicky Forbes, also makes an appearance on the album. So next up, let's head over to Sweden for two great new releases. We'll hear Deviation Days, but first of all, here's some blistering punk rock from Karlstad. This is Cat and the Underdogs and Rich Kids.
Stockholm based band Deviation Days and a fantastic groove of Well of Trouble taken from their new EP Secret Freaks. Well, I first heard that record when I was over in Sweden in May, thanks to my good friend Hans Salander, who's an AR man for Record Union. So I'd like to dedicate that to Hans, Lisa Lot, and their lovely family. And members of Deviation Days used to be in a great band called Wired for Mono, who released some superb soundtrack of our lives and Nymphet Noodlers influenced music back in the early to mid 2000s. And talking of Nymphet Noodlers, they were from Karlstad, as a cat and the underdogs, who you heard there first of all with rich kids from their excellent new album Punk Rock Overdrive. <laughs> Well, that was a great raw sound of Small Town Tigers with Just Friends, and that's from their Five Things album. While I saw this Italian all-girl trio at the Pump It Up Power Pop Weekender recently, and they were superb, they're well worth checking out if you get the chance. In fact, they're lined up to support the Damned at the original lineup reunion shows later this year, so I'm really looking forward to seeing them play again live. Of course, the Pump It Up Power Pop Weekender is run by Marrow and Simon from the Some Weird Sin Club Nights, and Marrow is also in the Speedways. We just happen to have a brand new single out right now, and here it is. This is Shoulda Known.
Well, that was a Speedways and Shoulda Known, and that's a track taken from their great new double A-side single, which is out now, and it's another release that's available from Beluga Records. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. I do hope you've enjoyed this small selection of just some of the excellent brand new releases that have found their way to me over the past couple of months. And there's just so many great bands and artists around at the moment that we're going to need a bigger podcast. Well, as always, I'll put a feature up at retromanblog.com with the full track listing and links to check out more information on all the bands and details on how you can buy all their lovely records. So to play us out, let's go out with a bang. Here's something that's guaranteed to clear up the cobwebs. And Judah have just released a blistering live album called Live at the Punk Rock Radio Raduno. And here's a track from it. This is Roll On.